These stars are ready to rumble down here. The action is getting hot, and so is my bald spot. You could fry an egg up there. Did I ever tell you I actually tried yeah, that Yeah, yeah, you did. The obstacle course is next. It's the DC game. Stay with us. I know you will. <laughs> Stay tuned to the first ever Disney Channel games. The book I'm planning on reading for the obstacle course challenge is One Punch Man. And this is a manga that is about this guy who basically wanted to become a very strong, heroic person that could fight off bad guys. Because in this world, there are a lot of monsters and bad guys all the time. So he just worked out super hard every day until he went bald. And now he is so powerful that he can defeat anybody with a single punch. But that also means that he starts living his life very differently from other heroes because it doesn't take any effort to defeat anybody so he sort of starts thinking like what's the point what's it all mean man he's a an interesting character i'm really excited about actually like picking this up because this is a serialized manga so it's very beautiful art and the what i'm used to reading is the web comic which was created by the author of this who it just so happens could not quite draw very beautifully. He did his best and I applaud him for it because this is some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. I cried laughing the first time I read this and I'm so excited to go back into it. I need to figure out what TikTok I'm going to copy. Even the sky declares Team Red Supremacy. Time for Advent cheese! Advent cheese! We're only 13 days behind. How did the cheese paint his wife? He double glossed her. He double glossed her. Is Gloucester a cheese? We fed it improve our game, Mom. It's your turn. Opening of the cheese number two. You know, if you open Advent cheese, I would say it's very advantageous. Ooh. Now that sounds fancy. What's the joke? What's it say? Would a smoky cheese grow on a tree? No, but an apple would. Uh... Uh... What is Jay-Z's favorite cheese? Briance. I don't know Ooh. if I like that. <laughs> sleep let me just quickly show you what i got for my little secret scene exchange that i did today because i feel like i haven't shown you a lot of footage for today it's the second day of the obstacle course thing and i'm like not reading my book because it's not the third day and apparently i only read on the third day which is not smart why don't i learn so i did my gift exchange with a bunch of friends that i have outside of booktube we just said it would be cute to do a Secret Santa exchange. So we used Elfster that helps you to draw names and it'll distribute the names privately so you don't actually know who your Secret Santa is, but you can look at everybody's wish list. So off of my wish list, I got some beautiful fairy lights. I'm really excited about this because I've always wanted fairy lights to decorate my room with. And every time that I go looking for them, I feel like they're really expensive. So these are 66 feet long and they have all these different settings and it's also remote controlled. I'm psyched about this. And then I also got a book I've been really excited to read and every time a book gets recommended to me, I, I just want to see like why people would recommend that book specifically to me. So unfortunately it's been a while. I can't exactly remember who was recommending this book, but it's The Silence of the Girls. And I do believe that this is an Iliad retelling told from the women's perspective. I have heard recently that this does also focus a lot on the male POV. 
which I'm really not like upset about per se because it's not like I really like studied the Iliad. I don't really know anything about it, but I am pretty excited about it because I also know that one of my friends loved this book and I know that we have relatively similar tastes. And it's such a beautiful textured paper. It's just, it's such a gorgeous copy and I'm really excited about it because I don't really, I don't know, I don't really buy myself books a lot and I don't really buy myself really nice books when I do buy books. Um, you know, like I, I do it very rarely. So when I do get one, it's just very exciting for me and I'm really happy. So it was great. And I got to give some gifts too. So that was also really nice. And it's just a nice way to get into the holiday season. And you're watching Disney Channel. Two hours later. I recently started reading Deadly Education. I started it yesterday and I was reading a little bit of it today. As far as entertainment value, I am enjoying it. Now I'm about halfway through, so I do feel it's a little bit strange that it feels like everything still needs to kind of be explained about all these monsters and how the monsters will come get you and I don't necessarily feel like every single thing needs to be explained. I feel like it's pretty heavily implied by the fact that the monsters are just after everybody that you don't have to say like why you don't want to be alone in this particular room versus that particular room because the answer is always monsters. So I feel like sometimes things are being a little bit over explained but I don't really mind it that much because sometimes I don't know what's going on in the story. So I always appreciate it when they sort of just restate things. And I'm like, okay, thank goodness. I, I'm still consciously paying attention to this book right now. So good. And it's not so repetitive. So it's really fine. There was a comment that I actually just got to in the book where there are all these monsters in the school that are always constantly after you, after all the students who can do magic. And they said that there is a black student with locks who could be targeted by these monsters because the monsters like to come into your bed when you're sleeping and lay eggs in your hair and then burn <laughs> and it's gross limiting the way that black women are asked to wear their hair in public is wrong and anything that really tries to like force black women to wear their hair any particular way is probably going to be seen as pretty problematic so i i'm not 100 percent sure like why naomi novik wanted to particularly do this because i just don't really feel like it's come up before much in the story because there are plenty of other characters that have lots of hair we have a main character who is half indian and i think some indian book reviewers were saying that the representation here was like okay but it wasn't really anything great but i think that this is part of like the own voices conversation of who should be writing about certain things is it worth it to have white authors have people of color as their main characters because we want to see that representation but at the same time if they're going to do it completely wrong and it's basically just going to be some kind of fill in the blank face for a white person to put on, then maybe it's not great. I'm interested in seeing what other people have to say, and if I do find anything like that, I would have that in the description down below for you to check out those people's reviews and see what they have to say, because those are the people you should be listening to. volumes that I had to read this month for One Punch Man and oh my god this is some of the funniest stuff I've ever read in a manga in like the longest time this was so much fun I love the art style of this I love the comedy I love the relationships between the characters it's just so great I love this so much so many people have been telling me to pick this up and I just did not listen until now 
I wish I had. This is so great. I love this so much. I am definitely going to be continuing with this series. I gave all three volumes five stars. And you know what? Now I'm going to go work out and try to build up my body just like this guy. So see you later. and bounce their way through this outrageous obstacle course. Stick around to see who will head to the finals, all coming up next.